to solve this problem, we're going to want to use the ideal gas law, PV equals nRT. Our pressure is given as 1.05 atmospheres. Our volume is unknown. We can find our number of moles since we have 12.5 grams of argon, which has a molar mass of 39.948 grams per mole. So we divide by its molar mass, and the grams will cancel, and we'll end up with our final answer in moles, which is what we need for N. That's 0 0.13129 moles. Our R value in this case is going to be 0 0.082057. And the units for that are liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. And so there are several different values for R, but the only difference is the units. And uh, since we have, we're looking for volume in liters, we have atmospheres, we have moles, and our temperature will be in Kelvin, we want to use this value for R. And so our temperature is 322 Kelvin. And so I'll go to the next page here and rearrange our equation to solve for V. So NRT over P. Our N, we just found 0 0.3129 moles times our R value, 0 0.082057 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. Our temperature is 322 Kelvin. And our pressure is 1.05 atmospheres. And as you can see here, moles cancel, atmospheres cancel, and degrees Kelvin cancel. So all we're left with is liters. And since we're looking for volume, that, uh, that fits. And so when we solve this, we get our answer to be 7.87 liters, which is our final answer. Now this question also asks if the volume would be different for 12.5 grams of helium, and the answer is yes, and that's since helium has a different weight than argon, a different molar mass, it will therefore have a different number of moles, and so even though the R value, the temperature, and the pressure will not change, the number of moles will change, therefore changing the, uh, the volume.